Outdoor adventure time. Ready to rock and roll, man. Yeah. Good. How you doing back there, Keith? Good. <laughs> All right, so we're out in minus 15 degree weather, and we're going to spend the night out here, plus some ice fishing. Stay tuned. So we're going that way. After you guys. Fighter style. <laughs> I was hoping this for a time lapse thing. Ah, arm. Pew pew pew. That's not good. <laughs> when, I, when I speed it up, it's just gonna go. <laughs> Why did? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> you know this whole sled thing. It looks a little harder when you're. Uh... <laughs> Change of mind, I think trespassing is a better option. Can <laughs> <laughs> we walk a little further? Whoa, Jesus! Can we move down a little bit? Right. <laughs> Sorry, Steve, what do you want? Could have rubbed it down, I guess. But, uh... Well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that is the hardest part of the... Uh... Yes, so we're going out to a camping spot that I haven't been to since I was 21, 22 years old. 32 now, so 10 years. And I'm lost. Home sweet home. Welcome to Mount Fake Chris Moore. No. I spent 30 bucks on socks, man. I'm in. <laughs> oh, come on. You know what? That's as good as it's going to get. Yeah, pretty much. Well, we all gave up on the communal park, okay? Eh? As of the right now? Yes. <laughs> hey, can I hang my tarp over you guys' tarp? Yeah. Well, maybe. Well, let, me, let me see how my setup's going here. That wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. Uh, yeah, you know what? You know what? Maybe I'll do that, eh? We're we gonna kind of get tarped in. Oh, let's do that. Yeah, that could work. Is your camera fell over, buddy? Is that, is that what you did for you? It fell over. It didn't fall over. You knocked it over. It I mean, no one was there to see it, so. It's on my leg and telling it's raining. Well, it's gonna rain. Let's knock the camera over. Again. Yep. Tell you what, I'm gonna put this somewhere else temporarily because this is completely in my path of walking right now. How's that, Chris? How's that for a better shot for you? Probably. Where do I go for? Where'd you put it? Uh, look at your look at the end of your rope. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is 100% the reason why I bought this three-pound knife. 
It's dull as fuck. <laughs> Cut this one rope right here. I don't want to be that guy that, hey, can we roll next? I'm going to say if you want to cut, yeah. Okay, that looks up pretty good. Nice. It's a nice. A genuine chocolate face, no makeup. I was saying with those dimes or those nickels. Yeah. Have you seen that trick? Yeah, well, you no. Really old, yeah. Like no, so if you ever. Oh, you just wrap it around. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, no, I haven't seen that. You. All right, I'm curious. Which. Side is everyone's head gonna be on? My head's going on this side. Chris? My head's going on this side. My head's going on this side too. I didn't, I Why didn't... are we like this? I didn't. <laughs> Maybe it's because we know that tree's coming down in the middle of the night. <laughs> so we want to get our head away from it. <laughs> oh yeah, set up your guideline first. That works the best, does it? <laughs> it totally does. <laughs> when you know what you're doing, which clearly I don't. Well, Steve, figure out if you're gonna share a fucking tarp with me or not, because I gotta set up my shit. Yeah, buddy, I'll share with you. Chris, you do you smoke in bed? I'm gonna smoke a joint before there's other. I'll be in my own <laughs> uh, Once we're officially set up, can we do like a house and home tour? Yeah. <laughs> just wait. You're gonna love it. Okie okay, dokie. <laughs> Alright, it's show and tell time. Welcome to our home abode. Man, come in. Get out of the cold. This is my bedroom. I call it the blue meat tube. It's fashioned as a meat tube because it's attached from the very bottom. Only way to get in and out is to slide the whole system off. So upon getting back into bed, you pull the pull cord. Genius. <laughs> and you're the tube. It is any wind directional thingy, doesn't matter if it's blowing any direction. I can just pin it closed and I'm good. Now, the system. So it's a parachute hammock. I started with a sleeping bag. It's good to six degrees and then fed it through the rope at the very end of the hammock. So I've got one layer underneath me and another one that's going to be in the hammock with me. This is going to be a little bit of an under quilt. From there, I have a piece of foam in between that and that. From there, we have a, another sleeping bag, a mummy bag. Uh, it's good for zero degrees Celsius. And then that is wrapping the winter sleeping bag, which is good for minus 18 Celsius. It has a secondary layer in the middle, so if it's summertime, you can sleep on top of it or unzip it if you're too hot. And then I have a self-inflating air mattress right in there with me, so I'm going to have it made in the shade. Not a bad system. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, All right. All right. Sorry, let me, let me close up my room. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go over to my uh, <laughs> my place of residence. All right, so we got a Camino tarp. Me and my buddy Steven here are sharing this tarp here. We'll go underneath the tarp. Now, I don't have any fancy knots or anything. I just, whatever's working, I think that's a closed hitch. Anyways, I got my ridge line up here. My tent, or my tarp, or what do you call it? A fucking hammock stretched out here. Now, I did it differently from Keith. What I did was I ran a sleeping bag, a summer sleeping bag, through here, through my, my hammock, and I got it wrapped all around up until here. And I got cords running it so it doesn't come all the way down. Anyways, let's go inside my sleep system here. All right, so what we have in here is first we'll start with my SOL survival bivy. Now I've taken this thing around the world and it works pretty good as a sleeping bag. What it does is it reflects all your body heat back to you, or like 80% of it, blah, blah, blah. So I have this as a bivy. Under my bivy, I have my winter sleeping bag, which is good for about 15 below. 20 years ago, it was good for about 15 below. And under that, I have an air mattress, so you can see right here. None special. Steve! Hey buddy. Your turn! Now, how am I gonna figure this out when I'm drunk? I have no idea. I'm just making a really big set of keys, just so I can't lose them. <laughs> Alright, so, I have a similar sleeping bag, kind of a hybrid between the two. We have sort of a meat tube going on, I like yeah, Keith. Um, and inside... You don't have a pull cord. I don't have a pull cord. No, it's, not really fancy. it's, it's the, uh, the base model I've got here. <laughs> Inside, I have a uh, Eno single nest hammock. Uh, we're with a really, really stinky, fresh factory made uh, reflective heat blanket. It just, just reeks like something, I don't know. How would you describe it, Chris? Uh, chemicals. Beautiful, beautiful chemicals. <laughs> yeah. Something that's just going to give you cancer. Um, and we've got a, uh, another multi layer sleeping bag. I've got a proper winter camping sleeping bag in here. Dad, good down to about negative 15. We're up to a nice 7 degree summer sleeping bag. Just for a little extra warmth. Got a little under pad underneath. And 
I'm gonna couple that whole system with the fact I'm probably gonna be wearing my winter clothes while I'm doing this thing. You're probably gonna. I think you're gonna be good, man. I think you're gonna be pretty high from the way those things as well. I think you're gonna be pretty good. All right, now we're gonna walk down the river and uh, go ice fishing on the big open lake that's down there. Yeah, dirt. <laughs> all right. Fuck, my beer's all the way over there. <laughs> oh, I forgot my damn beer in the snow. <sighs> Here's my beer. I think you're going a little overkill, man. No, this is good. Keep going, keep, keep make it, make it bigger. God. If the fire gets too big, you want to move back. Don't make him stop. Free labor. I really got to get a better fucking light because I just walked up on Keith and you couldn't even tell that until now. <laughs> All right, we got a little bit better of a lighting going on now. <laughs> I'm going to go start a fire. Holy fuck, is that ever bright right up against the face? Good idea. Okay, so what I'm going to attempt to do now, key word is attempt because I haven't started a fire. I'll walk in front of the camera, you douche. <laughs> winter time, free fucking winter. So I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use these little alcohol wipes, like 90% alcohol. So they're gonna catch like fire. Catch like fire. Good ones, Chris. Nice little pile, man. Nice little pile. Another little so alcohol like wipe yourself? here. You burning all your toilet paper. Oh yeah, I could use it as toilet paper. All right, here goes everything. Never wipe your ass with one of those. If you have road rash. Yeah, buddy, that's actually not that, that works so good, man. <laughs> Stop walking from a damn camera. Get out of the yeah. Let's get that log. The person's on fire. You want to you keep this going here? I'm going to go keep keeping it. Rock, paper, scissors? Nah, I don't care. Go ahead. <laughs> Say, your ass your rock, paper, scissors. All right, they're off to go get more firewood. My job is to keep this thing alive. <laughs> Okay, that's enough chicken with the fire. I'm gonna drink my beer. These are all wet. There's my damn beer. I drink fuck wine, cause I'm that bitch. Cause you fancy, huh? Alright, it's dinner time, yo. Oh my, pasta. This is the last one. And then, this is what's going with it. It's olive oil. And then there's capers, and there's all the spices, and there's olives in there. Oh, nice, man. That was really good, actually. He just said what he has for dinner. I'm going to show you what I have for dinner hey, right welcome now. Welcome to the part of the video where I show you what I am eating for dinner. Carrots, lemon, potatoes, garlic, salt and pepper, seasoning, oil, and chicken. Oh, you're gonna cut it down. Uh, you're a good man, I like that. Right now. And star swipe. Steve. Steve. It's the most amount of star swipes he's ever seen. <laughs> what are you eating, Steve? I have a creme filet chicken noodle soup. <laughs> Ooh la la. With diced multi animal protein sticks. Oh, go on, go on. And um, broccoli. So hot right now. Very delicious. I know. Very chic. It's very chic. <laughs> It's actually, one might say, simple yet nutritious. Mm. Oh, right, where are my meat awesome. marshmallows? I don't know, I should probably get my Remember, uh, orange bag leaves. Got my pork in it. Well, what? God, I hope I put that pork in my... The weeds and everything's in there. Fuck it, I'm going to beat six pairs of pants on. No, I don't. I got three pairs of pants on, but... We're going to pee that's on camera, but not in the way of anybody. <laughs> scratch scratch Scratcher. Scratcher. Oh yeah, one more thing about my food, I forgot to add, I, uh, I put bacon in it. Bacon in everything, man. So for the video I made, I had it all wrapped up, and then about like an hour later, I'm like, why didn't I add bacon? <laughs> so, like, ran downstairs before I forgot, and I've added the bacon, but I didn't put it in the video. I need a beer. My beer's just sitting in the river, man. River. It's just sitting there? Yeah. You don't tie it in there? No. It's gone, man. You know what happens to it when you tie it? People kick it. <laughs> Is that your meat marshmallow? Yeah. Dope. Doing it Japanese style. They get a Monopoly on barbecue. Cooking fucking meat on a stick. You heard me! <laughs> sure, man, why not? Nationalist. <laughs> Nationalist? Why do you think this works, somebody? We got back bacon, that's ours. And poutine and 
beaver. Give me a beer. <clears throat> Wanna go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. I'll go show you where I gotta go get my fucking beer. The river down here. That's an ice patch. Can't see it. Alright, so my beers are still there. That's good. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, alright, I'm running out of beer. Okay, somehow I'm gonna grab one of those beers. Not get wet. Aha! Alright, we'll go back to the campsite. Beer time. What do I got here? Got uh, Muskoka Brewery. Are you sure it's an IPA? It doesn't say IPA. That's an IPA. Be okay. Ah, scrum to the umptious. Yep, just blow that on my knee. <laughs> Marshmallow? I am unlocking the secrets to pepper. How much black pepper to use to make it spicy, and then how to cut it properly with white pepper. Give it some depth. Holy fuck did that ever go. So like, like I said, it's got either really low or holy fuck. Took me a long time to cook my food, but it's fucking delicious. God damn. You want it? <laughs> Thanks, I'm okay. <laughs> Don't throw it on my meat. Son of a bitch. It's flavoring. <laughs> Lemon flavoring. Oh, I see what you're saying. Potatoes ain't cooked. There's potatoes in there? Oh, yeah. It's not cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the bacon? There's the bacon. Bacon burnt. Good. Yeah, just the middle is really all done too. Oh, the chicken salad or the. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. Well, that's a tomorrow problem. <laughs> Could be a middle of the night tonight, bro. <laughs> I got toilet paper in you. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it's not kind of I think well. if I got this out, I think salmonella comes out of both ends. I don't know, man. You bash my meal, but it's fucking good. It's warm, it's thick. You bash it, it's just kind of, ew. Hot dog soup. Mm hmm. Yeah, I used to like that yep. too. No, I, I fucking loved it as a kid, man. The only difference is now I can have whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I love bacon. One of those universal things. Mm, you don't understand. They don't got bacon in Japan. Oh, I can't appreciate the love of bacon. Before I moved to Japan, I like bacon. Wasn't in love with it, but I liked it. Yeah, but then I went two and a half years without having bacon. No. Why not? Do they have pork? They do, but it's fucking awful. It is awful. Japan, your fucking bacon sucks. To any foreigner in Japan, they'll tell you the same thing. Japanese bacon sucks. So anyways. Anything I'm eating in Canada, it's got bacon on it. Mm. Ow! Ow, I pulled something. Is yeah, that your groin? That's your groin right Fuck, here. man, it hurts like hell. <laughs> oh, it hurts so bad. Uh, I'm gonna bust out my bong. Uh, what do, do you guys reckon the temperature is? Minus 15, 16, 17? I think it's supposed to say, go to minus 18, don't you know Getting ready for bed. Cold as fuck. And we're all a little bit nervous to get in our little sleep systems here. We're not nervous, just it's gonna be fucking cold. That's I'm rightfully hesitant. The initial getting in there is gonna just. It was fucking miserable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and at I this stage, it just sucks. It's not as bad, but it was miserable getting in. It's not gonna suck for you, Steven. You got this. <laughs> Good night, world. Good night, guys. Okay, good morning everybody. It's sometime in the morning. Fuck, my fingers are frozen. I can't take this video. I left my GoPro out all night. I'm on my last battery. It's cold outside. Minus 15 south of. Uh, as predicted, Key slept the best. I slept pretty okay. One side of me is cold. I don't know how that happened. And Steven slept the worst. As predicted, he had to get up in the middle of the night and take a pee. I can't imagine how bad that must have sucked. Anyways, it's in the morning. All three of us are up. Steven has the balls to get out of bed. Not a chance in hell I'm getting out of bed. Okay, we braved it. We got out. We tried to get a fire started. So that's where we were chilling last night. That's the beers I drank in that corner. That's my sleep. Uh, what do you call it? Outer wear. Sucked. Let's go see if my beers are still in the river because uh, I was too drunk to take them out last night. Oh, my beers are frozen in. 
Is that my beer? I might be leaving beers for the fish gods. My boots aren't waterproof. Just figured that out. Not good. Not good. Uh, one last look. How you doing, Steve? How was your sleep? It wasn't bad, actually. I was nearly near death as the last time. What happened in the middle of the night, though? <laughs> I'd be so bad. Yeah, so I woke up like I woke up in the middle of the night to hear uh, the tarps rustling, and for about half an hour, I'm wondering what the fuck is this guy doing? I think he's jerking off or something, right? I was looking for my socks. <laughs> the only one that jerks off in company is Chris. He had to take a piss in the middle of the night. I can't imagine how bad that must have fucking sucked. <laughs> Alright, take a look at down here. This is a flowing river, and it's fucking frozen. We need a rock. Anybody got a rock? We're having a rock, Keith. Oh, my rock? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you be good to that rock. Alright, rock. Do you have another rock? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you can still see it. <laughs> Beautiful. It's an absolutely picturesque. Scenery, man. When it's not when it's not minus 20 anymore and the wind ain't blowing. <laughs> and goodbye to the campsite, Mount St. Chrismore. Good times. All right, so these two guys are gonna walk up this mountain over here because this guy here can't walk up a fucking mountain or on the side of a mountain. So they're gonna walk up the mountain across well, a cornfield. Breaking a sled makes it mildly difficult. Across a cornfield, and I'm gonna meet them over by the bridge. All right, final thoughts, guys. Good times. Good times. Nobody died. Good for a while. Yeah. Alright, so I'll meet you guys over by the bridge. Yeah. Alright. Man, that's 700 times easier than this bullshit. I got here quicker. I am fucking hot though. I gotta take off this this thing. Alright. See you later. <laughs> yeah, <buddy. laughs> you guys suck. Assholes. Alright, I guess that's the end of our video. Thanks for joining us. Good times. Anyways, see you on the next adventure. Peace for now. Cheers.